Hey guys, what is up? It is TreeBros01 here, and I just took a 10 second bite out of this video. And as you can see, I have Sound Recorder on the screen because XSplit is kind of crapping out and it won't record my voice. I have already attempted this once, but my voice didn't get recorded. So sorry if you see uh, this Sound Recorder up here. But have you ever wanted to get a thumbnail like this? Um, you know, a decent beginner thumbnail that you could do easily and quickly as long as you're monetized or a YouTube partner. So. One, two, three, X. Okay, that's just to help sync my audio. But, uh, so first you're going to want to download GIMP uh, 2.8, I believe. But we'll go to Google. Uh, GIMP, just type in GIMP right here. You'll have uh, the GIMP website. 2.8 is currently out now. So you can get that for free. And yeah, so after you download that, you're going to want to open your GIMP. And as you can see, all these custom thumbnails, that's what you're going to be making. And I'm also going to show you how to make them if you're a YouTube partner um, after. Um, or like how to add them to your video. So pretty much you start off a uh, new file. Uh, 640 by 404. Or you could also do 1280 um, by 720 I believe. But I like the 404. It's a small canvas um, but it works. So then uh, a really good tool for thumbnails is the blend tool. Where pretty much you pick that. Then you'd get two colors, like blue and maybe a lighter blue, like I have here. And then you would um, kind of move it around and see what you would like. So, yeah, we got that. And it pretty much just blends it up to what you want. Kind of kind of wanted that. So, then after, you, let's say you have that, you're going to want to add some text. Because, you know, you want to explain what the video is inside your thumbnail, which is a good idea. So, um, we're going to hop up here. Place that down, go to th type in thumbnail, uh, bam, there you go, you have that. So, I'm pretty much going to make an exact replica of what I just showed you, but we're going to go ye yeah, yellow. And what you do is, after you have that, you're going to want to increase it till it's nice and bold. And there you go, that's nice, um, perfect, there you go. So, let's say you want another one, let's go ahead down here. Okay, see, now we dis now we deselected that one. Then we're going to go ahead down to this one right here. And we're going to type in, uh, tutorial. Make it yellow, of course. Um, and there you go. You have your thumbnail and tutorial already up there. So, after you have, um, yeah, say thumbnail tutorial. Hey, I want a picture, you know, like, um... I want the picture that's in this one right here, you know, uh, the GIMP guy, you know. So pretty much, uh, it's pretty easy to find a nice picture. You know, I went to the GIMP's website and looked at this thing and pretty much just copied this image, went back to GIMP, and edit, and paste right here. So now you have the GIMP image. You're going to want to use the move tool to move it around, though. So we'll place it here, then we'll use the scale tool in order to scale it up to a nice good size and scale it. And there you go. We'll move it a little bit more right there. Perfect. And pretty much what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to replace this one with kind of the edge thing of that. So we're going to go like that. Then we'll get the bucket and we'll do that. There. That is almost looks perfect. Like thumbnail tutorial um, right here. So after you are done that, you can move it around a teeny bit. So it, oh, that just, so it blends in just perfectly. And it does. It blends in perfectly. So, uh, perfect blending right there. It's a lot better than the one I did before. I'm happy about that. So after you're done that, make sure you spelt everything right. Thumbnail, tutor, tutorial. Yep, okay. Everything's good. So we're not really going to want to save. You don't need to. We're going to export instead. Then we're going to export saying GIMP or th what did I say? Let's go to desktop. Uh, GIMP thumbnail. So we're actually going to change it to this one because I like this one better GIMP thumbnail there we go we're gonna export yes we'll replace it export um, there you go just keep that open just in case you did something wrong in the thumbnail now we can go check thumbnail tutorial um, looks pretty dang good maybe the GIMP guy could have been moved to the side a little bit more because of that little box you see that but overall, you won't be able to notice with the thumbnail. So, pretty good thumbnail tutorial has the GIMP guy, so you know it's GIMP. That tells you everything you want to know in the thumbnail. So, after you have that, you're going to want to, you know, exit out your GIMP. Um, 
you don't really need to save have a second one open for no reason and we've already been going for five minutes but that's okay we'll be ending soon so after you downloaded your gimp you've made your thumbnail and you're like huh how, how do i actually add it to my videos well first of all as long as you're a channel partner uh... let's just go this one here as long as you are a channel yeah, partner the, you can um... Ted second bite out of this video as long as you're a channel partner you can change the thumbnail like you could either be a YouTube partner or you could be accepted for monetization so um, I'm accepted for monetization so uh, I can make money if I wanted to I'm not going to though but um, it's nice to have the custom thumbnails so you could go uh, go to edit video go to custom thumbnail and you will have um, open your folder thing then you would go pick your thumbnail and it will upload and it would automatically change and then you just click save changes but if you don't want to do that um, um, just to prove that it actually set it you if you click on one of these ones then it is set as set as thumbnail but after you have that as your thumbnail uh, click save changes and you'll be fine so yeah I'm not gonna save changes though I'm gonna leave the page as it is and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all later peace out and I just got a new comment shout out to flying potato um, well, see you guys later, peace out, hope you guys enjoyed, and yeah, drop a like or a subscribe to me, um, if you enjoyed these videos, thank you all, and I'll see you guys later, peace. Okay, so I started, I'm gonna start doing this because, um, it's kinda annoying having annotations throughout the entire video, so click on one, bonus video, trouble the terrorist, trolling, and, uh, commentary, they're both good videos, see you later, peace.